I wanted to give you another brief video, just isolating the concept of confidentiality because it is so important in counseling and psychotherapy. As a matter of fact, it's the cornerstone. Without confidentiality, really people would not be free to share the most intimate details of their life. And it goes all the way back um, to the Third Amendment, which has to do with the right to be left alone, the right to not have your home invaded without a court order. And that suggests the idea of privacy and confidentiality in certain relationships. Um, it is the counselor's responsibility to keep the process and the contents and the participants of psychotherapy private. It is the therapist who has the obligation to maintain confidentiality, not the client. The client can say anything they want in any venue, but not the therapist. And, and so in essence, it's the right to have things communicated to a mental health professional and that that will remain private. I hope this helps to keep this in mind. It belongs to the therapist. The patient or the client has no obligation to maintain confidentiality, only the therapist. Thank you.